I've created over 500 videos on YouTube and my channel still hasn't been monetized. Why? So I'm on my way to get some petrol for this car. Since getting this car, I swear I've been putting more and more petrol slash gas in it compared to my older car, which was a diesel model. I didn't realize it was that much of a difference when I actually exchange a car, but I do feel like I'm topping it up pretty much every other day at the moment. Um, but I wanted to jump on here and just quickly talk to you guys about why am I doing these vlogs and why am I doubling down so much on YouTube at the moment. I've been on YouTube for a couple of years now. I think it's over 10, 10 to 12 years I've been on YouTube, posting videos occasionally, um, but most recently, a lot more over the last couple of years. I would say probably the last four to five years. So I've created over 500 videos yes 500 videos and my channel still hasn't been monetized well there's a few reasons potentially for it um i'm hopefully going to answer some of those in this video so there are probably a few reasons for why this is um the first couple of years of youtube i was more of a onlooker rather than a creator so and then occasionally may have created some videos but I think I spent the first couple of years just using YouTube as sort of like a tool to just watch um, videos and series and stuff like this um, back then. And then I slowly got into more photography content and that's when I started thinking about potentially making photography content. So I started making a few videos occasionally on shoots and stuff, which obviously helped with the creativity side of things. But over the last two years of making videos a little bit more consistent, it has dawned on me one of the main reasons why I'm not actually been monetized yet. It's not necessarily the fact that I'm not actually doing videos, I'm not actually putting content out. It's the content itself. Although it's content that I kind of enjoy making, they were pretty long-winded and took ages to make, plan, and obviously actually create. So the whole process um, felt like I was putting in so much work but not getting a lot out of it. When in actual fact, I do enjoy creating the content. I just don't in enjoy that style of content that I was trying to do at the time, like which was like the tutorial style content. So which was explaining what I was doing on each and every shoot, what gear I was using, what settings I was using. And when it comes to editing the videos, it took a lot longer. Planning, the shooting, and then the editing, uh, it just took a lot. So it would take me like a week sometimes to even finish one video. Also, recording the videos, um, I ended up recording a lot more than I actually needed um, to record, which is it's not a bad thing. And also recording on the cameras that I was using. So for a lot of my videos over the last two to three years, I've been recording with the Sony a7 IV or the Sony a7 III, which has been kind of like my go-to setup for behind the scenes stuff. But as you know, with those type of cameras, you have to set them up. And obviously you kind of like have to man them as well because they basically require a little bit more work and obviously effort as well. And setting that up can take about 10 to, to 15 minutes, depending on what style of content I was actually doing. So in a way, um, I was already starting on the back foot, but I am obviously aware that I am blessed that I have extra cameras that I can actually set up to do this stuff. But earlier this year, I made a purchase which I think has given me kind of a new lease of life when it comes to like creating content and also creating a different style of content, which is what you're probably going to be seeing more of going forward. Videos like this, me talking to camera and um, just taking you along on my day to day uh, uh, events and whatever I'm doing throughout the day and throughout the week. And it's all been made possible with this. Let me show you guys.
and this has been made possible because of this little boy right here so this is a dji osmo pocket 3 and this camera basically comes with me every single where i go so it fits in this little bag that i've got here um all the accessories that i need for it fits in that bag and i can literally plump it up wherever i've got different type of mounts that i can use so i've got like this sticky mount that i can use here i've got tripods like this that i can use as well um there's just so many different options to give you but it's the size as well that makes it such a convenient camera and the quality of the image that i produce that makes it such a convenient camera and that's given me uh, a new lease of life in terms of being able to create more videos be able to put them out a lot faster and a lot quicker i've also gone back to doing videos which are much more organic and feel a lot more fun to do which are the vlog style videos just because i feel like they just work a lot better for my style um and so far i'm absolutely loving loving creating them and so i'm actually talking to you guys here now really enjoy doing them and they've really helped me in terms of like getting back into that creative flow and that creative juice in the body being able to take you guys along for for my day to day and from doing vlogs over the last three weeks i've actually been able to obviously introduce a lot more newer people to my work like um i've recently hit 2000 subscribers which is amazing so the other goal is for us to actually hit monetization which is the 4000 watch hours which is what we're going to try and do next i know it's coming and i know we're going to hit that milestone i'm hoping we hit that milestone by the end of this year so we're looking to actually hit that by the end of december 31st uh, so fingers crossed which leads me to another question um you're probably asking why are you so eager to actually be monetized on youtube why do you want to be monetized on youtube and the answer is simple why not create a form of income utilizing the tools and the skills that you already have and by doing something that you enjoy and you love which is photography and making videos about photography and photography content it's obviously a passive income as well because uh, the videos you put on here on youtube can actually generate income for years to come so why not share your passion with everyone else and then earn some money while doing so so for me that's uh, one of the driving force behind why i'm so eager to keep going keep creating content and get the channel monetized so if this is something you're interested in and like to see more on how i do this stuff be sure to hit the like and subscribe button in the meantime i'm gonna go grab some petrol because we've got another exciting vlog coming for you guys later so we're heading out later tonight to film another vlog with model louise which you will see next week but if you haven't seen it already i'm going to link the last video i did with louise here um, which the feedback from you guys have been absolutely phenomenal which is amazing thank you very much so click the link here if you want to check that out and i will catch you 